Hi, Hi guys! guys. <laughs> Today we have a slightly different tutorial because I'm in LA. I'm at my lovely friend Kate's house and I was going to say, you, you expect it to be sunny <laughs> and LA-ish but it's freezing and it's raining cats and dogs so we're shooting it indoors and I came over to do a tutorial of your classic signature look, the yeah. Kate Bosworth look because I often get asked to do tutorials because it's such a natural, beautiful makeup mm. that you usually wear. And we have a twist today. We do. Kate asked for a metallic copper lip, which thank God I had with me in my case. And we filmed the whole thing, and here it is. So I'm just going to do a light cleanse to start with. And your skin is always incredible. I'm just going to take off that little tiny bit of Moist, tinted moisturiser you had on. Mm -hmm. So for your skincare we're going to use your aloe vera calming gel. So you put this on before your serum usually. I do. So I have pretty sensitive skin um, and this particular aloe is really very calming for the skin and it also um, Epicurin has formulated it in such that even if you have an allergy to aloe, which I don't, but a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. They took out whatever compound it is that um, creates that kind of effect on the skin, yeah. an allergic reaction on the skin. And so it's just like incredibly pure and sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, so I always yeah. use it. Yeah, it has a really nice consistency. So next we're gonna use your Isom Sapphire Facial Oil. You introduced me to this. Yes, I love this serum. It is incredibly special. Um, all it contains is macerated um, flowers and plants and it's just the smell is incredible it literally it so good. is just one of the most beautiful scents um, and I'm pretty sensitive to scents as well like they can give me headaches if it's like overly floral or mm -hmm. something and this one in particular just smells like really um, kind of earthy and natural and I, I had heard, and I don't know if this is true, but the, the woman who makes this actually hand picks all of the herbs and the flowers that are then macerated to make the oil. So I like to think that it's, it's a bottle of love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And finally, we're going to use some of the Walida skin food, which I love. This is very rich. So this is more your winter, is it, kind of skincare? Or? Winter, or if I've been traveling, which I have always mm -hmm. traveling. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I live somewhat on an airplane and this, um, what would you say, like a moisturizer, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a heavy, it's a very rich moisturizer yeah. and I think, listen, I've only been in LA for two weeks mm -hmm. and I, my skin feels dried really out. Dry. Yeah, I mean ultimately, it's we're in the desert. Way. Exactly. So I only use this either mixed in with a lighter moisturizer mm -hmm. if I feel like it's too heavy or um, use it exactly as you're using it which is still a little amount goes a long way yeah. but it you feels exactly what the title of the product is which is skin food mm -hmm. Just <laughs> feeding your face yeah. so this is a product um that's for any chapped area mm -hmm. i actually think wasn't this originally oh, yes. formulated for breastfeeding yeah 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 um, it's, it's really popular in I got this in France, I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, I like to use it on my lips because it's just such a nice texture. Mm, and really nourishing. Uh -huh. And oh. also around the eyes, especially on the plane or at night, if I'm feeling like it's particularly dry. Yeah. What is your on-plane routine? I, mean, I always love to hear. I really love the Bioderma wipes because sometimes, you know, if I have a little bit of makeup from the day yeah. and I have an over, overnight flight, mm like to London, to yes. Los Angeles, yeah. uh, I, I like to take my makeup off completely. Yeah. So the Bioderma wipes are really great for that. And then um, just the, the more hydrating, the better. Mm -hmm. I always think on planes like hydrations, hydrations, Absolutely. hydrations. So you just put lots of nourishing creams on. Do you put masks yes. on? Um, Ever? I haven't done a mask. I've been a little <laughs> too scared because, you know, yes. it's like I feel like you look oh, like I do. I'm shameless. Do you? I'm so shameless. <laughs> I look, I feel like I haven't quite gotten to that, <laughs> that bravery level yet. So because we're going to use a lot of cream products, you know, we've chosen so many beautiful cream textures, I feel quite safe to start with a light layer of base because we're not going to really use any powders or dark powders around the eyes. There's nothing to drop down. 
So I'm actually going to use Vita Lumia Aqua and I'm just buffing it really lightly over your skin. So this is just a really nice kind of evening out foundation that doesn't really need setting, I don't find, because it almost sets it on it lightly. This is the foundation I really love to use. Um, I'm, I feel like foundation is one of the things that's like the holy grail that you're constantly on the hunt for. Like, yeah, what's totally. the best foundation? Yeah, yeah, completely. Um, and that's one of the questions I'm, I, I always ask, you know, any makeup artist, whether it's film or TV or just being on a shoot, is like, what foundations do you love? Yeah. Um, but this yeah. Chanel one I adore, and I also really like the Cogendo, the yes. moisture one. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love the texture of that. Me too, because it's it's creamy, so it still feels hy hydrating. Yeah. And there's something about the formula that feels like slightly light reflective, you know, yeah. so it just looks it's, kind of it's eerie. Got blurring, sort of. Yes. Just, just blur me. Just blur just me out. big blur. <laughs> Put some Vaseline. <laughs> so I'm just working the foundation in. Got great skin, so I don't really need to use a lot. I'm just making sure that that is totally in synergy with your skin. This shade is slightly lighter than your face because your neck area, sorry, and, and around here mm -hmm. is a teeny bit lighter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a little cocktail under the eyes. This is a mixture between a couple of different products. And I'm just going to push them in underneath there just to lift any shadowy areas. And this one of these is slightly peachy just to lift any blueness. The blueness... Um would be in thanks to the glass of whiskey I had last night. Uh, <laughs> whiskey, so conceal, whiskey. concealer is definitely is, is the uh, order my, of the day. my friend. <laughs> concealer is the hair of the dog, if you will. Uh, <laughs> Do you have a good time? That's the main thing. Yes. You know what? My husband and I have been traveling so much and, um, you know, there's been just quite, it's been quite busy mm. um, work-wise and I just finished a film and so we had a really nice date night oh, and it's so fantastic. fun because we just kind of had a couple of drinks and chat chatted yeah and, you, you just know. let your hair down yeah and you don't look like you've got a hangover <laughs> you look perfectly thanks to you flawless. no 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 <laughs> natural beauty always <clears throat> shines oh my goodness so this look we're going for Kind of a slightly different look for you because obviously I've done your makeup and we've used lots of bright lip colours in the past. Yeah. And this time you're fancying something which is a little more earthy, a mm -hmm. bit more of those rusty tones, maybe even some shimmer and a little bit of reflective sort of metallic vibes on the lips, which I'm I'm here for. Yeah, you know, I recently from from this role that I just completed. Um, went a little bit darker with my hair color and there's actually tones of sort of auburn red which I yeah, really love I, I kind love of want to keep it um, but normally as a blonde I'm always so attracted to the sort of poppy kind of bright oranges or magenta pinks yeah, yeah, or I love a lift so well. <laughs> I love yeah. a bright lift but with this hair color um, I'm just more attracted to the kind of rusty bricky kind of like bitten, flushy colors. It would be a really nice look to try since I have La Maestro <laughs> here. Um, and uh, and I don't know when I'm when I'm doing my own makeup or whenever you know we collaborate together. Mm -hmm. For me, it's always important to kind of think about what element to accentuate. I've never been someone who wears a lot of makeup, and I think I always decide sort of where to focus on, whether it's, you know, a bit of a um, gloss on the eye or mm. if it's a, you know, a, a slight bit of shimmer on the eye or if it's a bright lip. Yeah, you or... like to make one strong accent. Exactly. Um, and I thought, oh, it would be, I don't think I'd want to, I wouldn't be so attracted to this idea of a shimmer on the lip as a blonde. I think that as a blonde, I'm, I'm always kind of wary of the stereotypes in a way of like, like, oh my god, it's a blonde. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm really glassy and shimmery and blonde. <laughs> but as a brunette, somehow I feel like I can get away with it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, totally. It's so interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Like, hair colour changes everything. Yeah. So this is the world of tones that we've chosen. You can see how these russets and beautiful berries 
really sits so well now with your skin tone, hair, the top you're wearing, <laughs> and your eye colour. And I just, I think what we'll do is we'll just stick with these tones. Yeah. Use all cream textures to start with. We'll obviously add some highlight and things later. But for eyes and lips, yeah. I think this is going to be a beautiful world of nuances. I, when I do my own makeup, am so terrible at eyeshadows. I'm the kind of person, yeah, I'm the kind of person who literally just needs one or two cream products and I just kind of pat it sort of all around mm -hmm. and then I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> like it's just... so incredibly easy. Look at that. Already that looks beautiful. I love this um, Jill Dempsey lid tint. I'm so excited to see her tints because I've seen them, I think, on your Instagram actually and they look so pretty. Yeah, they're just quite glossy and really mm -hmm. sheer. <gasps> Dying. Look at that colour. Oh, love that. Mm. Rosy blush. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And do hers have a little bit of reflective in it as well? or the, These ones don't actually. Oh. Like the ones that I've got don't. They're more glossy than mm -hmm. actual pearl, pearly texture. And do you use it everywhere on the face or do you usually just use it on the eyes? I just use it usually on eyes and lips, but I think right. it's going to work really well on cheeks as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it into the cheek colour, which is this one, which is slightly more tawny by YSL. Let's just start to really push that into the skin. And then I think we'll create some harmony between the mm -hmm. two. We'll kind of, I've got some really nice light cream highlighters that we can blend in. We're going to have a symphony mm -hmm. of creamy, beautiful tones just to enhance the skin. I apply makeup very similarly to you, actually. I feel like, to especially maybe with creamy things, you kind of have to really get skin on skin, skin to yeah. sort so of create heat, that almost natural kind the... of flushy feel. And then I love going back in with the brush that you've used mm -hmm. just to almost take off any edges. Yeah, that's exactly what I There's hardly any makeup left on the brush. Now, right. But it just seamlessly takes off those edges. Gorgeous. So yes, yeah, so I'm using a little bit of the lid tint and then using the two actual cream blushes. Lots of dots and then... And if you're someone that does have some blemishes in this area, you can still do this. Once you've done it, then you can go back in with your pinpoint concealer and just mix it with a little bit of this blush tone. And you can actually conceal over the top if you're clever in mixing your concealer with the blush tone. One of the most important aspects to a makeup look when I'm doing it myself is that it's five minutes or less. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Because who's got the time? Yeah, I mean... I mean, it's fun to get dressed up when yeah. you're going out, but if it's a, you know, like today, you're yeah. actually having a dinner party, you're going to be greeting guests, yeah. you're going to be, you know, making stuff, you don't want that kind of 45 to an hour. And I also think that because, you know, when I'm on a film or if we're getting ready for a premiere or something, it's, mm -hmm. it's, um, takes more time, you yeah, know, and so when yeah, I'm doing it myself, I'm like, and I'm out. <laughs> So now with my foundation brush, I'm just picking up a bit of that lovely flush tone and coming around just to really seamlessly blend all these edges. So it's as if the, the flush on the eye meets the flush on the cheeks and goes up along the hairline as well. It just looks more natural when there are no edges to anything. Everything just continues. I feel that way even about lipstick. Like, I don't. I like the idea. I like the, I like the feeling of it being a bit of a blurred edge. You know, mm -hmm. like I'll I'll put the lipstick on, and if it looks too sharp of an edge, I often just take my fingers and sort of soften it a bit, just so it looks more like a your own kind like of a real stain yeah. kind of thing. And then I'm just using exactly the same tones, so this reddish cream tint just along the lower lash line. So good with your blue eyes. If you can hear any sounds, it's because we're in my house and my husband is literally baking <laughs> like 20 feet away. <laughs> Good husband. Yeah, I'm very lucky. So for brows, I'm just using the Suku pen, which is super delicate, as you know, but enables you to really just draw in some fine hairs. 
so it looks like a real brow and it just fills in brows so naturally. I love this pen. I call it the feather. It is like a it feather. It is like a little feather. But it's amazing how you do a few strokes and you think, oh, it's not really doing anything. Mm -hmm. And then you step back and you have this really full, beautiful brow. A little bit more filling in this one, just a tiny gap there. I don't um, wax my eyebrows or anything either at this point. I just keep them totally full. Yeah. And the odd hair here they'll remove, but I really love a full, full brow. Me too. It just frames the face mm -hmm. like nothing else. A healthy looking, glossy brow mm -hmm. where you can see the hairs. And you can, there's so many good brow products now. You know, that you can genuinely fill in brows without them looking artificial. It's a good time to be into big brows, mm -hmm. definitely. My mom used to always say when I was, like, first kind of doing my eyebrows, and it was early 2000s, so that time it was, like, a really skinny kind yeah. of brow. It was very in, and my mom would always say to me, don't do them too skinny, they might not grow back. Yeah, <laughs> she, she was right. That. She yeah. was totally right. It's sort of one of those things that your mom says, and at the time you're like, oh, mom, you yeah. know, and then, you know, you get a little older and you're like, oh my God, I really am so glad yeah, that I have my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. She knew. She knew. They always do. Mm, so true. So Kate is one of those disgustingly lucky people <laughs> that already has curled, naturally curled eyelashes. How much do we hate her? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> if, I curl, if I curl my eyelashes, they look like... A doll. Yeah. But you're so lucky that they're like the perfect level of curl. I mean, they're so nicely curled without being curled. Thank you. They're very blonde at the tips, so when I have time, I'll dye them. Mm -hmm. um, but mascara really... And Enhan yeah. enhances them quite a bit because when you first look at them bare, they don't look as long, I guess. Mm. But yeah, they're really pretty long. I mean, this is quite a very light coat on of um, this particular mascara, but already you can see how incredibly long they are. Just going to brush through a tiny bit. And you don't like it so much on the lower lashes, do you? I love it on the lower lashes, but not for. Um, no, it's just that the um, mascara, it doesn't matter which one it is, falls. And I start look, looking like, like a wreck. <laughs> like a panda. <laughs> yes, like a panda. And you've tried all of them. I know we've had this conversation yes. before. On editorials or if I have someone like Lisa with me all the time. Yeah, touching up. Cleaning me yeah. up. But otherwise, I just yeah. do it on the top. And it looks good like that anyway. So this is the lip that Kate chose. And this is your own colour. Tom Ford. This is a beautiful colour. So this is kind of like a really, I want to say natural, but obviously it goes on. It's got a lot of colour in it. But if you were to stain your lips with this, it's almost like just eaten berries. It's that very pre raphaelite kind of renaissance colour, which I love. Oh, heaven. I'll use a little bit of pencil, but I'm going to use it afterwards because we're going to keep the, those edges really soft and really stainy. In fact, I'm just going to pat some of the colour into the lips. So how did you discover this shade? This is actually one of the shades. I shouldn't have asked you a question I know. when I was doing your lips. That's uh, the, one <laughs> the one time I wasn't what chatting was the time when she said what an idiot. <laughs> Do you know what? I do that a lot. <laughs> I do that a lot when I'm doing because I think I'm so relaxed you when I'm doing people's lips. Do you know who else does that lips. to me? My dentist. I really He'll ask me a question and I'm like, you do know yeah. that like I have like a hundred tools in my mouth that I cannot He's talk like, right now. What have been up to recently? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, the last film I was on is a, is a movie called The Devil Has a Name. And um, basically my character wears a lot of colors like this, this kind of um, like rusty, and she's she's a very uh, complex character. Can you say who it is? Because I know who it is, your character. Oh, no, that's that's the oh, next sorry. one. Oh, no, 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 okay. well, that one will get right. to. Okay. Um, but the character that, um, that I just played is a very uh, intense woman who 
she she really goes for the for the kill and um she's very she's very difficult and um does that must have been fun to play yes she she does some uh, interesting things to get to where she wants to be and so um I wanted to wear very kind of like bloody kind of you know savage colors and anyway this particular lipstick is called wicked ways and it kind of has that like ruddy kind of bitten bloody mm. kind of rugged feel yes. but and uh anyway i like it too it's beautiful <laughs> but it's so interesting what you're saying about like creating the character and makeup yeah. for that it's obviously mm-hmm. costume and hair yeah equally as important but you know it's the colors the way you're describing the colors and even the name of this color helping you to really yeah. get occupy that and all the costumes, oh, even so. though it was present day, I was very inspired by the 70s. And mm-hmm. so there's something about this lip color that's kind of, of... Yeah, bruised fruit shade. Exactly. And then I'm just going to use the a pencil now that the color's on. Just to lightly sculpt around the edge. Again, without giving that harsh line vibe. The smile slightly. And this color actually matches really well. So there's no distinction between the lip pencil and the lip color so i'm just putting one more thin coat of this color on and then we're going to put a top coat on which is this metallic shade which is a little bit different from what we've done before but i think it's going to be fun touch of powder not too much just set a little bit of that concealing and i really love this brush oh this is from the haku hoda shop in Kyoto. Oh, I love Kyoto. I love Kyoto, but this shop is like an art gallery. Oh my goodness. And everything is laid out. Um, it's like a, you know, a sort of industrialised, modernised space oh. with incredible brushes. And some of them are just like works of art. Wow. So I'm just going to do a little bit of cream highlighting. Why don't you have a little nose of this? I love this. I just got this palette um, yesterday. And it's an organic brand, which I'm loving at the moment. So much, so much better organic mm. colour product than they used to be. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, skincare was always good for organic, but yes. foundations, lots of the highlighters and things just felt too glittery, but this is so divine. Yeah, that's my sort of lipsticks as well. Very refined sort of versions. Yeah, beautiful. And again, because it's cream, mm-hmm. you feel that it's really in synergy with the skin. It's kind of melting. We haven't powdered here, so it's melting into that lovely cream blush that we had applied earlier, which is now so warm and so sort of compliant. Everything is just melting in together. Do you powder over highlighter or highlighter over powder? It depends. If I'm going to do a cream highlighter, I don't like any powder over it at all, or mm-hmm. even under it. If I'm going to do a powder highlighter, then I'm have a uh, powder first so it goes on smoothly. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I do a cream underneath, and then I let that settle in, put a tiny dusting over the top mm. of um, powder. But it's more for that would be more for like red carpet, mm-hmm. not so much for every day. And put a little bit of shine just. Here as well. At the inner corner of your eye, I'm just actually going to use a little bit of powder highlighter just because it'll stay put more than a cream will there. It just lifts that area. It lifts the hangover away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's filthy. Oh, it looks so oh, pretty, Lisa. Just yeah. gives that nice. Light. If I could do my makeup like this every day, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I think but you are going to do it. It is definitely the Kate look. It's definitely the Kate look. By yeah. Lisa Aldrich. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now we're going to take it in a whole different direction. Okay. And we're going to go metallic on the lips. And this is a slightly, <laughs> this is a change. Um, I think we chose this color. <laughs> Just checking this not too dark. Let me see. Oh, no, it's, it's nice. <gasps> love it oh my god this is so rich and like you were saying earlier on some of this kind of holographic or really frosty stuff can get quite cheap looking mm. but this is a really chic way of wearing that trend because you're on top of the really beautiful stained lipstick 
and then you just have that finish over the top. I kept Lisa on her toes today with this request. You did. A whole what? A frosty, ruddy lip? <laughs> digging through the makeup bag. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Just check you like that colour on the lower lip. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. There is a slightly lighter one, which we could do a, a bit of a highlight with, because this colour is also nice. It's nice because it doesn't look like a frosty lip, but it almost looks like it's just a bit... Wet, almost. Yeah. Let's just see this slightly lighter version. That's quite nice just through the centre of the lower lip. I don't think I'll put it on the top lip. It's just, it's really it just good. catches the highlight a little mm -hmm. bit more. And the same shade on the top lip. I won't use the, the lighter one though. This is so nice, this colour. It's like a copper. Yeah, it is. It's really coppery. It's got like an 80s vibe, a 70s vibe, mm -hmm. a modern vibe, almost a 1930. It's got, there's so many references in this, this colour. So I'm just doing a finishing touch with some boy brow, which I love. It just I gives love a boy glossy brow. brow. And just in case you're wondering why the lights changed, we've actually we've just realised we've been talking for about two hours mm -hmm. today non-stop. Instead of cracking on with the makeup, we keep... Uh, going off at different tangents, which is always lovely, but it's actually gone dark now. <laughs> <laughs> so the lights are on, but um, you must have a look at your makeup now. See what you I'm think. I'm so excited. Come on, open this. There we go. Have a look, my darling. <gasps> this looks so amazing, Lisa. Do you like oh, lip? I wish I you could it. come over every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, think you I wish I was like this all the time. Oh we gosh. should definitely do this lip for a red carpet. Yes, yeah, we should. We should, absolutely. I love, I love how subtle the lip is, and it almost looks like um, the way that one feels with really great highlighter. It feels that way on the lips. Like, it just kind of reflects the light and looks really kind of coppery and rose gold and all the things yeah, that I love, gorgeous. all the warm colors that I love. Yeah, and the highlight. The it, I think just having the shimmer just makes it so yeah. warm and inviting. Yes. yes. Kiss me, Kate. <laughs>